All right, listen up, Netlinkers. We've only got one chance to do this today. We have to be in and out without being detected. Ready? Okay, tech news on three. One, two, three. Tech, tech news? New information for the RX 460 and RX 470 have leaked and it looks like videocards.com has slides that tell all. The first slide reveals the availability of both cards. The 470 is expected to be launching August 4th while the 460 is expected to launch a few days later on August 8th. It wasn't just launch dates that were on the slides. Other slides showed off performance numbers. In the case of the RX 470, according to AMD, the card should be 1.5 to 2.4 times faster than the R7. 270 in certain games like Battlefield 4 and Doom. For the RX 460, it's 1.2 times faster than the GTX 960M in Overwatch for 1080p gaming at ultra settings. Meanwhile, if you pit the 460 up against the R7-260X, the RX is roughly 1.2 to 1.3 times faster. But as we all know to do on this channel, take a grain of salt with these leaked slides. Hopefully we'll be able to confirm all of this next month. Valve has released something very interesting for their International 2016 Compendium update. The update brings us the Dota VR Hub. It's basically VR spectator mode for Dota, for users with an HTC Vive. You can either watch live or archived matches within the interface. There's also the added feature of joining or creating a lobby to view said matches. The lobby can support up to 16 viewers and voice chat is enabled. The VR interface starts off in the VR theater mode, but you can choose to switch it up and warp into a game at any moment and walk and look around a Dota 2 match. The Dota VR Hub is free. What do you guys think of the VR Hub? Will it be a more immersive experience? Let us know. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Dota. Obviously, I prefer League, but nonetheless, it's a cool concept and maybe it'll even expand to other games and live esports arena experiences maybe. Pretty cool. Asus announced the ROG G20 CB gaming desktops with the GTX 10 series graphics cards. These gaming desktops are roughly 9.5 liters in volume with Mayan inspired markings and customizable LED effects. Specs wise, configurations can be found with up to an Intel Core i7 6700, up to 32 gigs of DDR4 SODIMM RAM, both a 2.5 inch SSD and a 3.5 inch hard drive. All this plus built in AC Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and 8 USB ports while only weighing just over 6 kilograms. Pricing and availability will vary depending on the region. On to Snippy Snippet. Apple has now officially sold over 1 billion iPhones. Only two years ago, it had sold just 500 million. My iPhone was number 800,546,731. Apparently, the CEO of Qualcomm has confirmed that the Snapdragon 830 chipset will be built using the 10 nanometer FinFET manufacturing process. Sony has sold off portions of its battery business to Murata, another Japanese company that manufactures electronics. Lian Li has recently launched their KB01 Bluetooth Slim Keyboard, their KM01 Wireless Slim Keyboard slash Mouse Combo, and their oversized mouse pad, the PTM5. Amazon has launched a store dedicated to products that were crowdfunded on Kickstarter. It's called the Made on Kickstarter store and features over 300 products. And just a friendly PSA, you only have one more day to upgrade to Windows 10 for free if you're on Windows 8 or 7. After that, you will need to pay $120 US if you want a copy. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked in the description. How dost thou potate? Like this. <laughs> I was channeling my inner potato. <laughs> That's what you're doing? <laughs> this week is NCIX's back to school kickoff sale. Yep. That's right. School is only a month away. But we have deals for you. The Canadian deal is a bundle deal for two BenQ 24 inch gaming monitors for $400. That's a savings of over $150. The American deal is an LG 4K IPS FreeSync gaming monitor for $308. That's a savings of over $120. Plus any new customers for our US site, if you spend over $100, you can receive a $20 NCIX gift card by using coupon code NEWNCIXCUST20. Click here for the Canadian deal and click here for the American deal and click here or down in the description for more of this week's savings. 
All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here to watch our previous videos and hit us up on Twitter right over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Well done, Netlinkers. We got in, we got out. Mission success. Now it's lunchtime. Bye.